Shalom, shalom. First of all, most I want to get out and then go to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah, Basham, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, rule with them, and a great example to the younger brothers and the truth. And peace and blessings to the hopeful lit. And Lord, when this edifying, you know, going to something that occurred at camp. <laughs> but we just going to play it and get right into it, man. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so yeah. 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 you got a voice. Your voice don't matter, your voice don't matter. Right. Huh? Edomite pulled up and said, Y'all scaring all them people or something. Let me go back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
meats like it and eat it up and it shall make my belly bitter but it shall be in my mouth sweet as honey yeah because when you first get to learning you know and ultimately it's going to this truth man you know when you get to learning you know it'd be sweet you know you have we the chosen people the lord only coming back for we we god's chosen people all the rest of these people nothing you know <laughs> Oh, we going to get the kingdom. We going to have women and chariots. and We going to have new body, you know, superpowers and all. You know, you get to thinking like that. And then they say, um, and it became bitter, bitter in my belly. Because when you first come in the truth, you think that the end going to come soon as you come in the truth. You know, but that ain't the case, man. You know, so, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, let me check some. Make sure this thing is cool. Okay. You know, so you think that the end gonna come immediately or something, but it don't, man. You know, you 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 get to realize when you come in the truth. Damn, I'm finna start start going through shit, lose jobs, your old lady start tripping, take the kid, just different scenarios and stuff like that. I mean, that ain't happened to me, but I lost a job and different stuff. Got job opportunities I had to pass up on because they wanted me to shave my beard. Just different things started coming to you, man. <laughs> you know, different things started happening. Your woman trip days, and you go gotta, you know, you just gotta make shit shake. You 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 start facing adversity, and 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 and, and basically you bearing your cross, man. You know that it ain't gonna be no easy walk. It's just gonna be sweet. You find out you're an Israelite and everything all good. No, you're gonna go through shit, man. Financial difficulties and different things, man. You know, that's where the bitterness come in. You know, they have to see the, the wickedness of these people, man. They have to uh, figure out a way to put up with it and, and suppress your anger and <laughs> the hate that you have towards the things that these people are doing, man. You know, it get bitter, man. The the what is that? What I say? Vex how lot was vet with vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. You know, we vexed the same way, man. You know, that that's the bitter part of all these things. The pride of women, you know, the the pride of people in general. You know, it, it vexed the shit out you, man. How you mad? That's the bitter part of this truth, man. You start catching hell, so to speak. It say, um, but it shall be, verse 9, it shall, at the end of verse 9, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book, and I took, so like, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand, and I ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. So once you get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you come back to your house, by your house, shy, you bear your cross. Shit get hard, man. Get bitter, man. It ain't gonna be no cakewalk, man. You gonna go through shit. You gonna battle demons, man. You know. <laughs> you, when you go out on the highways and hedges, hey, man, ain't no telling what can happen out there, man. But you gotta do it, man. They say, in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, thou must prophesy again before many people and nations and tongues and kings. And that's where we at with it right now, man. You know, because the prophets didn't come back after this, after Revelation 10. The prophets never came back after that until today, man. You know, and we out prophesying to all these people, man, to the heathens, you Edomites, letting you know, look, you going into slavery to the Moabite, you going into slavery to the Africans, you going to uh, Moabite is Chinese, Ammon, um, Japan, Japanese, all these other nations who not Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, you going to, into slavery if you don't die in, in the second coming of the Lord, man. If you live through all that, you going into slavery. But for an American, if you on the soils of America when those missiles hit, you're going to be burnt up, man. We're not coming with no message <laughs> that people... You're supposed to be scared, man. you supposed to consider, man. you supposed to be uh, nervous, man. This is it, man. You know, 
We let you know that the COVID-19 and all these things were prophesied in the scriptures, man. The New World Order. All that chaos, famines, pestilence. You know? It's, it's prophesied in the scripture. Matter of fact, let's keep going through the precepts. This Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 7. It say, nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ear. And in the ears of all the people, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. So we, we, we let you know about war, evil, pestilence, man. You're supposed to be scared, man. You know, even though the dude just was being an asshole, but that, hey, that's the whole point of the, the Lord raising up his prophets, man, <laughs> and warning the people. We're not out there uh, uh, to to bring no good message, man. We out there to let you know, hey, all hell finna break loose, especially here in Babylon the Great, man. The we letting you know the economy finna collapse. Oh, <laughs> you know, they finna set up concentration camps, you know. Oh, uh, we letting you know these things finna happen, man. They slowly destroying your your beloved America. <laughs> you know, you got a, a a fat Edomite riding past talking about some we scaring people. You you need to be scared, man. You know, but you ain't gotta be scared of us. You need to be scared of your how about show me how shine. What he finna bring to this earth, man? You know, and and, and your own. Your own people, man, who who top in this society. That's who you need to be scared of too, man, because they finna fuck over you, people, man. All you Edomites who who ain't get a fair shake on this side, you just a two time loser, man. Cause you gonna wake up in in the kingdom and, and hardcore bondage, man. You know, that's what's coming to you, people, man. Ain't no peace, no. Ain't no peace to the wicked, no mercy coming to you devils, man. You know? The scriptures say, he that leaveth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience of the saints, man. That's the message for these Edomites, man. Slavery. All these nations, man. Uh, uh, if, if, uh, if, if, uh, if the land be defiled with blood It cannot be cleansed But by the blood of him that shed it Man that's the message that we letting you know <laughs> Somebody blood You you Edomites blood have to be shed For all the blood that was shed Of the children of Israel man Yeah that's the message we bring So you should be scared man We ain't come, we ain't come for peace man You know Let me see this Obadiah chapter 15, well, Obadiah verse 15, it say, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. You know, so, hey, ain't nothing good going to come out of it, what you've done to the children of Israel, man. The Lord say, he that touched you touched the apple of his eye, man. And all you nations took part in um, destroying the nation of Israel, man. You know? So you need to be scared. You need to be trembling, man. And two-thirds of our people who walk, say they out there, man. Walking past lollygagging and bullshitting, man. You know, and getting afraid. They, they need to be afraid too, man. You know? Because, <laughs> hey, look, we telling them what's going to happen to them, man. They finna be put to death in a in a harsh way, man. By your how about Shem Yahweh Shai through his sword, Esau, even the so called white man, man. But the Lord is orchestrating everything that happened. But we ought to let you know, man. You know? When you see the prophets, you supposed to wanna like like let me get that. Samuel, first Samuel chapter sixteen. And this was going into um Samuel anointing uh, Jesse, but I'm gonna just get straight to the point. And and it say, and Samuel did that which Yahweh spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming, man. So these people supposed to tremble at the coming of the prophets, man. Them, them garments get ripped out. 
what I say, rip when them garments get whipped at, and that that tribe chart get whipped at, and and, and, and them Bibles, <laughs> you supposed to get spooked, man. You supposed to be like, oh shit, what going on here? You know what they coming, Pete? Yeah, that's how you supposed to be. You supposed to be scared, man. You know, he say, um. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peaceably? But luckily, in this in this story right here, and he said, verse 5, and he said, peaceably, I am come to sacrifice to you how? You know, but that's pretty much it. It's just a point how they used to tremble at the presence of the prophets, man, which was once called seers, man, you know. And the Lord say he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet since the world began, man. Just like during the time of Noah, man. When Noah was out prophesying those hundred some years, the, the people weren't trembling. They was treating Noah like, oh, he crazy. This nigga building a big ass boat. It don't rain. It don't do this. It don't do that. Until that rain started, them big ass driplets started dropping on their head and the river started overflowing and shit, man. Then they want to get scared, man. But guess what? The ark was closed, man. You know, th that's what the Lord say, as in the days of Noe, Noe, but we know Noah and Noe, so it, it, so shall it be during the times of the coming of the Son of Man, man. Our people going to be rebellious, not wanting to hear the word, ignoring it, you know, same as is, is, is this time now, man. I mean, that's what they doing now, man, when we out prophesying and preaching, man, and those who don't hearken to us, you need to be scared, man. You eat a mice and you other heathens, you have no choice but to fear, man. Because it's, it's nothing good coming out of this for you. But our people have a chance of repentance and being saved, man. Same as we had the Lord granted us repentance. So we come back to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, repent and, 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 and get on his good side. The same with the rest of our people. But guess what, man? Two thirds are not going to hearken and they're going to be put to death, man. You know, we're not coming um, with sweet Jesus, man. I don't know what this is. I ain't going to worry about that. This um, Exodus 15... I start at 12... 11 and say who is like unto thee O Yahweh among the gods who is like thee glorious in holiness fearful in in um praise fearful in praise praises doing wonders thou stretch of out thy right hand the earth swallow of them thou in thou in thy mercy has led forth the people which thou has redeemed, thou has guided them in the, in thy strength unto thy holy habitation. The people, the people shall hear and be afraid. Sorrow shall take hold on the inhabitants of Palestine. And and hey, <laughs> hey, you people supposed to be afraid, man. The Lord has risen up his his prophets we know we the israelites now so you should be afraid we building the third temple man and when we get back in power that's it for all heathens man you know that's what the on um, daniel the second chapter and the the different chapters in revelation when they talk about the different beasts and the statue of gold and then the head of gold and the feet of p partly iron and partly clay that's going into your, your rulerships you heathens rulership man you should be fearing right now. You should be nervous. You should be afraid when you see the prophets whipping out them garments, man. But you're going to be even more afraid when you don't see them prophets no more. Guess what? Why? Because it's going to be nothing but action in, in in the field, man. And when I say the field, when I say in the field, you know, because people be in the world. You know, they, in the rap song, they be like, we in the field. with Yeah, in the world, man. In the field, when, when when you don't see the prophet, it's going to get real in the field, man. Whole bunch of death. But let's keep going. Verse 15, to say, Then the dukes of Edom, you Edomites, you so-called white people, shall be amazed 
the the mighty men of Moab trembling trembling shall take hold upon them all the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt away fear and dread shall fall upon um uh, fear and dread shall fall upon them by the greatness of thine arm and shall be as still as a stone till thy people pass over Oh yeah, how and this is the second Passover, man. We get delivered out of this place, man. You know, but this was going to just coming across the lands. But hey, we passing. We finna get beamed up, man. You' supposed to be afraid right now, cause this is a time of the Lord coming back to destroy this place, man. Till the people pass over, which thou hast purchased, and say, thou shalt bring them in. Thou shalt bring them in and plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance, and the place, O Yahweh, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in, and the sanctuary, O Yahweh, which thou hands have established, and Yahweh shall reign forever and forever, man. You know, in this in this in this future prophecy for real, for real, cause back then when we got the we didn't reign forever and then forever back then. But in this time that we in now, when the Lord do cause everything written aforetime was written for our learning. A lot of these old stories are compared to what we going through. We use this for what we going through now, man. Two and three triple fold, man. You know, the scriptures that we read, man. A lot of these scriptures in the Old Testament be prophecy of what's finna happen, man. But you got to have the eyes to see it, man. It's not for everybody. You know, this word not for everybody to get and understand. It's only for the elect of Israel, man. You know. The 144,000, first and foremost. Then the, the uh, one-third, you know, the men, women, and children. They going to believe and hearken unto the 144. And be saved, man. Let's see what this say. It says. Deuteronomy 11 and 25. It says, There shall no man be able to stand before you. For, for Yahweh, your power, shall lay the fear of you. And the dread of you upon all the lands that ye shall tread upon, as he have said unto you. Yeah, these people don't supposed to be, you know, not afraid. You need to be afraid, very afraid, man. Because this it for you. I don't know what this is. That's in the guess after the description. What's this one? Mm. This um Deuteronomy twenty five two and twenty five it say this day will I begin to put the dread of thee and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the heaven, the whole heaven. Yeah, all you people. Who shall hear, hear report of thee, and shall tremble, and be in anguish because of thee. Yeah, yeah, you supposed to be afraid when you hear and see us, man. Yeah, because we bringing, we bringing a report from your house, by Shem, your house, from on high. Matter of fact, here go another one going into our people, man. This, um, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 4. You know, ultimately, it's all nations, but this verse is talking about our people because this, <laughs> hey, man, this mainly coming for Jake, man, and Esau because the Lord said he's going to visit Edom, man. You know, the Lord coming back to take you heathens out of power, man, but he also bring, he finna, before he return, he going to bring a, a, a harsh punishment on two-thirds of our people who don't want to turn back. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 4 say, And these are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said of Yahweh, We have heard a voice of trembling and of fear and not of peace. So when we are preaching and prophesying, it, Hey, you, heard, you have heard a voice of trembling and 
a, 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 a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace, man. We ain't no peaceful message coming at this, especially if you're not trying to hearken. Oh, if it's peaceful if you're trying to hearken and you return back to your house, Bashem, your house. I ask peace unto you, man. You know, that's why we say Shalom, man. Your house, Bashem, your house, Shabrakatah. You know, to send blessings, man. But if you scoffing and, hey, <laughs> It's a lot right up, man. Send evils to these wicked people, man. Yes, man. We curse people and we bless people at the same in the same notion, man. If you can receive the word and you you hearkening and you humble and, and and taking it in, you know blessings upon you and, and, and Lord willing, He bring you in. But if you scoffing and talking shit, hey man, send evils upon this guy, man. Baba Kushai, you know. He don't want to get it. He 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 hates you, Lord. You know, type time, man. It say, ask ye now and see whether a man do a travail with child. Wherefore I do I see every man with his hands on his loins, and as a woman in travail, and all faces turn into paleness, man. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, who gonna be saved out of those who hearken unto those men with those garments on, man? With the with the uh, staffs uh, prophesying, man. You know, I mean, with the um garments and the um planks, the planks with the tribe charts, with the dresses on. You look at crazy if you hearken unto those men. If they, t you know, and return back to your house, you shy. You gonna you gonna um. <clears throat> You shall be saved out of this time to come, man. Um, I'll read this one. Well, I'm going to close out with this one. They, these are going into Israel. They say Isaiah chapter. I thought it was one on Isaiah 65. Let me see. This Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter um, 66, I'm going to get straight to the point. In verse 5, it say, Hear the word of Yahweh, ye that tremble at his word. You're supposed to be trembling at his word, man. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out, uh, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, said, let Yahweh be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, <laughs> and they shall be ashamed, you know. So, hey, if you don't repent, man, you need to be afraid, man. If you don't, so like, you know, I feel like I got to sneeze. <clears throat> if you don't repent, you need to be afraid, you know, if you in that two-third club when you see us. You should be afraid. We should crash your whole day, man. If you finna get ready to go party, you see the prophet prophesying, you hear the word, you should you should get in the mood. I don't even wanna party no more. Yeah. Crash we we um <coughs> party crashers, man. And to you heathens oh, you should just be terrified, man, 'cause it ain't ain't nothing gang. You ain't nothing we ain't need to talk about besides you going into slavery. <laughs> you know, for uh, a long time, man, a rigorous slave, and you're going to build up our kingdom, man. Anything past that, man, ain't nothing to talk about, man. You know, you, you can't get this not for you, man. Captivity is coming, man. All these curses, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans under are finna come upon you, man. So you should be afraid, but with that I want to get out and then go to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honest apostles and elders, a great millstone rule well. Man, a great example to the young brothers and the true peace and blessings to the hopeful lick. Till next time I want to say Shalom, Kwam Yashal and the Baba Shalom.